So Andy, uh, 4-1 win, another great win in the tank. How do you feel after that result? Yeah, really pleased. Yeah, we um, yeah we played um, a really good first half. I think uh, the work rate was really good uh, across the whole team. Uh, defended well again, just wanted to let one in, but um, yeah, really pleased with the result. Definitely, they've won three out of three, so um, yeah, it's going to be a tough test, and, and we did well, I thought. Absolutely, yeah, and um, sort of. It was kind of quite crazy. Obviously, there was the first goal, brilliant goal scored by yourself, obviously. Thank you. Um, but then, you know, three in the space of five minutes. I mean, that's absolutely crazy. How do you sort of clear going into obviously half time and into the second half when you know you're four nil up and you're so far ahead? How do you sort of keep that momentum? Do you know what we we knew they were going to come out um, and uh, sort of want to prove themselves a bit uh, in terms of trying to get on the score sheet or um, get into the game. Um, obviously, they've got nothing to lose, but similarly. Um, I think we spoke to the team about just being professional. Um, the boys uh, are really switched on, to be honest. Um, we just said about try and keep a clean sheet. Didn't quite happen, but um, try and do that uh, and try and get some more goals. Um, so, yeah, they, they were really professional. I think it's more it's really important that you don't sort of start to yeah lose that professionalism. And I, I don't think we did that. So, uh, yeah, please, please. And then... Um, I know obviously it's, it's so early on in the season, it's only three games in, but knowing where they were in the table, I think they were second at the time before this game started, did you, you know, prepare any differently or...? Uh, no, we didn't necessarily prepare any differently, no. Um, we prepare for every game uh, as, as, as much as we can. We get information on the other team uh, as much as we can um, and put together a game plan for how we're going to play against the team. And, um, not that that always pays off. Obviously, the teams change formations, change players, but um, yeah, I'm really focused on our team, how we can hurt other teams, um, and yeah, I think it's uh, going well so far. Yeah, and um, obviously now we're in kind of that period of the season where the games now start coming thick and fast. But today, we're game on Saturday, game today, game on Friday, then game on Tuesday, then game on Saturday again. How do you sort of prepare with? Know, chopping and changing all these sort of different games and obviously you've got to rotate the squad how do you deal with that yeah well we've got like i keep saying but we've got a really good squad um we've got depth in our squad so um i'd like to think that anyone that's coming in can do as good a job or sometimes even better um so it's just about rotating at the right times putting the right players in for each game um and yeah i think we're in a in a good position with our squad so um let's see how we get on over the next couple of weeks but we're literally taking it game at a time and um, picking a squad, picking a team and a squad based on the next game. So, um, yeah, thick and fast, but um, yeah, we've got a squad to deal with it. Hopefully. And then the final question, obviously, you've now had a few games um, as a you know player manager. Obviously, it was a big step up for you in the summer. Obviously, it's your first managerial role. Is this how you imagined it when you started? You know, to have you know, there's no being like Bush is a good start. So, you know, did you imagine this when you got into it? Yeah, I mean, it's it's all about the team, that, and I know I'm going to sound a bit boring saying this every week, but um, it's all about the squad that I've got. The only reason I took it is because I know about the players that I'm in the dressing room with. Um, I know what they bring to the table. I knew they didn't necessarily need tons and tons out of me, um, but I can then obviously implement the ideas that I've got across the team. And I think it's, um, but it's only a start. So loads and loads of games to go. So, um, but yeah, really pleased so far.